everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. My name is Caroline, I'm a law student at Harvard Law School and sometimes I share what my life is like. So today we are vlogging the first week back on campus. I'm a 3L now, um, also known as 3LOL because it's supposed to be like the chillest year. Um, and I'm hopeful that that will happen this year. I'm trying to not stress at all. Although knowing me, I probably still will, but um, we've set up our schedule this semester to be really chill. I'm doing a clinic. I'm doing the International Human Rights Clinic this semester, which I'm really excited about. Um, it's a big reason why I wanted to come to HLS in the first place. To be able to get that kind of hands-on experience while still in law school um, is a really unique opportunity. So I'm excited to be doing that. I'm in a seminar this semester with former Justice Abella of the Canadian Supreme Court. Um, Canadian Supreme Court justices have to retire when they're 75, and so she turned 75 this year. Um, or maybe no, she turned 75 last year, and this year is time to teach. So I'm really excited to be taking that with her. Um, Justice Breyer, who also just retired from the US Supreme Court, is teaching at Harvard in the fall, but um, I'm not American, so he doesn't have the same impact on me. Justice Abella is my Justice Breyer, so I'm really excited to be in her class. I'm doing a reading group on corporate accountability in conflict. Reading groups are like seminars, but even easier because um, they're only pass fail, there are no grades. You just like read and then you show up to class. It's a small class of like 15 or 20 people and then you talk about the readings. So it's fun to pick a topic that you're interested in, like corporate accountability and show up and talk. And it doesn't meet every week. It meets like a few times in the semester. So I don't even have this class for a couple weeks. I'm also doing um, a business and human rights class, which is a seminar. I just think it's really interesting. I have a very newfound interest in business and human rights. It developed last semester in a course I took, actually. I was doing a course on corporate criminal investigations based on the FCPA, and it made me really curious to see what kind of corporate accountability we can have um, for human rights violations, international violations. So I'm doing a business human rights class, and then I'm also doing a seminar called Human Rights Advocacy that's connected to my human rights clinic. So those are all the classes I'm taking this semester. I also have a writing credit that I have to finish up this month. And I'm captain of the HLS Viz Moot team, so that's gonna be taking up a lot of my time. But yeah, that's the overview for the semester. Just so this intro isn't too long, I'll talk about what my writing credit is about and a little bit more about my clinic later on in the video. But please keep watching to see how my last first week of school turns out to be. Okay, so last first day of school fit check. Um, the top is from Aritzia. I'm really into the button down like basics right now. Jeans are made well. And then shoes are these like loafers from Lulu's. And we are about to go to campus. I'm registering for the MPRE. <laughs> Shot track. I have um, very sad news that I came home to. Look at my Polaroid wall. We've had a few casualties. I decided to use double-sided tape this time instead of just normal tape and it did not work. And the worst part is, let me show you. They fall back there. So it's so hard to get them. So they might just be there until the end of the year, honestly, because this thing is so heavy. Okay, so I came back to my room. Um, I studied a little bit on campus with my friends, but we didn't really study. We just talked the whole time. Um, but update on the Viz Moot stuff. It is in person this year, so I have to come up with a budget for um, how much it'll cost us to send teams to Vienna and maybe Hong Kong, um, which I'm excited about. I got in touch with um, the coaches for this year did their availability, so the ball is rolling. I have to send out some recruitment emails, but I'm really excited um, to see how the team develops this year, and I'm excited to be in charge of it. I think tonight, because I don't have any class tomorrow, I'm going to spend some time editing a video, and then I really have to do research for my writing credit from the summer, so that's the plan for tonight. Okay, I'm about to head to bed. 
but I thought I would debrief kind of what the clinic is and how being a clinic works at HLS just because today was a super clinic heavy day so we had the clinic orientation at lunch and then we had um, a clinic seminar in the afternoon so to do a clinic you have there has to be like um, like a course component to it so that's why I also have a seminar but I'm in the human rights clinic and how it works is you take like a certain certain number of credit hours so I'm in four credit hours this semester I'm also just putting on a face mask because my skin is super dry um, I'm in four credit hours this summer semester which means I need to be doing 16 hours of work I think it's about four hours per every credit so I have to be doing the equivalent of 16 hours per week for my clinic. So this week, um, we're submitting our project preferences. They're all confidential, um, but there's some really cool ones. Um, and then once we figure out kind of what projects we're on, we're gonna onboard next week. And hopefully the week after that, we start doing like actual assignments. But these projects are like in different phases. So there's a lot of advocacy projects. There's like some more litigation, law focused projects. There's some that just started out. There's some that have been in the clinic for a while. So it's a great opportunity to get some like experiential experience in like a certain field that you might not know. You might not know what that field looks like in practice. Um, I don't know if that makes sense. So there's a bunch of clinics at Harvard. There's like um, a sports law clinic. There's Mm, what is there? Cyber law clinic. There's like a bunch of cool ones. Oh, you guys are going. Hold on. I'm not refilming that. So, but yeah, I'm just putting on a face mask and I'm gonna head to bed. But yeah, so this week is a lot of onboarding for the clinic. Once we get our project descriptions, and there's a couple that I'm really interested in. Um, I'm sure that there will be more clinic content. But yeah, although my friends say that my friends who have done clinics in the past say that it's actually a much larger time commitment than you anticipate, but you should really be budgeting like four hours per every credit hour you're in. Um, you can choose, you can choose whether you wanna do three hours, sorry, you can choose whether you wanna do three credits or five or four, I picked four. Um, I might wrap it up, it depends. But yeah, that's the clinic. And head to bed. Happy Wednesday, you guys. I'm running a little late, so this intro's gonna be a little bit rushed. I don't have class today, actually. Um, so I'm gonna go on campus to study with a friend. Capital One Cafe is doing half all drinks all month, so we're gonna go there, get some caffeine, and then work on my paper. Um, I'm about to head out to my friend's place because it's his birthday tomorrow and we're doing like a whole weekend of celebration starting tonight because his birthday will be at midnight. Quick fit check before I go though. This is from Uniqlo. This top is super old. It's like someone gave it to me. I think it's Brandy Melville. And then Lulu leggings. We're going for comfy but cute. Featuring my suitcase that I have not unpacked. Happy Thursday, everyone. I finally have a class today, but it's not until like late afternoon. It's at 3.45, which is a little bit of a weird time, but I have things to do. So today at lunch, I have to go to an events training for student leaders. Um, they require us to go so we can like book rooms and stuff. Um, I have to go for viz. And then <laughs> um, I have to finish some readings for the class. Um, I have to work on my paper. And then yeah, I've been in class. And then tonight is bar review. So it's the first bar review of the year. So I'm gonna make myself go. You have to get wristbands. So you're gonna pick up wristbands. And that's mostly it for today. I slept in, so it is very late morning right now. Not the most productive days, but that's fine. I'm on class tomorrow, so tomorrow can be productive. I also don't think I said what my class is. It's business and human rights. It's by this visiting professor from Brazil who's done a lot of right, uh, work in the human rights sphere. So it would be really cool. Um, for this class next Thursday, we don't have class. We have we're attending like 
this massive business and like ESG conference at the business school, which I'm really excited about. I really want to spend more time with the business school this year. Um, I'm really excited for this class. It's gonna be like a small seminar thing. And I'm newly interested in business and human rights. I think my focus on international law has kind of pivoted to being really interested in this sphere. So I'm excited to see what the class is like. So I'm making dinner and while I was driving back to Boston from Toronto, we stopped at um, one of those like service areas by the highway. There was a farm stand and I got an eggplant, like a huge eggplant for two bucks. So that's what I'm having for dinner tonight. Let me show you. Look at all that eggplant. Okay, so this is my fit check for bar view. This top is from Shein and these pants are Zara. And then these shoes, I don't remember. I think also Shein, honestly. And then my pile of textbooks that I need to sell are on the ground. Um, it's a bit more extra for bar view, but I realized that like in two weeks I won't be able to wear outfits like this anymore. So we're taking advantage of the weather. But yeah, I'm gonna go meet up with some friends and go to pre and then to bar view. Um, okay, so I didn't actually make it to bar review. I went to go meet up with my friends and then we hung out at their apartment to pre. And then after the pre, I was just really tired. So I came home because I'm like an old 3L at this point. And my friend has a bunch of stuff planned tomorrow and Saturday for his birthday. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna rally for that. I cannot go to bar review tonight. Um, I'll let the one else have it. So I'm in bed. Um, I'm doing some editing of a video and I'm having a breakfast burrito, which honestly seems like a really good Thursday night to me. So um, I'll check back in with you guys tomorrow. I don't have class, but I have a really big paper I need to write. And then um, there's some like student org stuff I have to do. I'm getting lunch with a friend I haven't seen in a while. And then my friends like big birthday dinner and night out. Happy Friday! Um, no class today. <laughs> Did that on purpose this semester. Having Fridays off is honestly a great thing. So if you guys can swing a schedule with Fridays off, I really recommend it. Um, I'm going to go grab lunch with some friends that I haven't seen in a minute. And then we're spending the rest of today working on my CPT paper, which I will go into detail on after lunch. Okay, so I'm back in my room after lunch, grab myself a little bit of caffeine. Um, right now, the big plan for today is I have to really grind out a huge part of the research for my summer paper that's supposed to be due at the end of the month that I did not do over the summer. So um, it's, it's actually on an issue that I'm really interested in, but it's gonna be a hassle to write. So for those of you who don't know, um, if you're an international student and you're here on a student visa to be able to work over the summer, it has to be a CPT credit. So it's like, it's like you're like doing a writing credit for the summer and that's how you can work. Um, it doesn't have, like it has to be related to your work, but it doesn't have to be like really closely related. So I'm doing a paper on international law and <laughs> my connection is, my firm has international offices and they do work with international clients so i'm writing a paper on international law so very tenuous connection but yeah so this is something it is a requirement that all international students have to do if they want to work over the summer so all my canadian friends all my friends who are international are also working on a paper this month my paper is on um whether you can have international like torts liability essentially like whether there's some kind of like strict liability or like do no harm requirement in international law um it's inspired by the mexico lawsuit so a couple months ago mex or actually i think a while ago now maybe last year mexico the country filed a lawsuit against gun manufacturers in the u.s so the country of mexico is suing gun manufacturers which is first of all insanely cool Second of all, it's just really interesting precedent and I'm really excited to see how that case turns out, but that's fully in the courts of the US. What I'm ready on is whether they can have any success suing the US and in international law for the US's gun policy. So for those of you who don't know, there's a big connection between the violence that Mexico, that's happening in Mexico right now with all the organized crime and US gun policies and US um, um, gun manufacturers. 
Okay, so it's a lot like last year. The view has downgraded a little bit, but not bad. I've got my monitor, um, my laptop. I don't know how I survived without a monitor in my 1L year. Like, this is surely the greatest addition to my um, productivity um, that I've ever added. Um, I've got some flowers my parents bought me before they left, um, some tea, my candles, AirPods. Yeah, that's my study setup. Okay, so the hoodie is out. Um, we're going goblin mode. I've got about five hours before I have to start getting ready for my uh, for the birthday dinner for tonight. So we are going to spend those five hours grinding out this essay. This is the outfit for the night. Dress is from Shein. This is just ooh, this is just from Uniqlo. In case it gets cold. And it's my friend's birthday, so we're going to this place called Mario. I've been there before. It's in Boston. Super cute. But yeah. And that's a wrap on the week. I'm um, just kind of getting back into the swing of things. It was pretty chill. I'm hoping to vlog every other week this semester. So the next time you see me, I'll have started uh, my actual clinical project and doing be doing work on that. And I'll be mostly done this essay. Fingers crossed. We'll see. I should be mostly done this essay. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.